Welcome back. It is 723 talking all about October being healthcare literacy month. We left off with rule number two, which was great. So oh, I'll let you yeah. So the FDA does not regulate anything labeled a supplement. It doesn't evaluate safety or efficacy. So when you go back to these cold and flu supplements, they no longer say prevention or treatment of the common cold. Mm -hmm. The best they can say now is may help with some of your immunity, might boost your immune system. Very vague, very, what we say, nebulous, means nothing. I'm just mind blown a little bit because oh, that's yeah. so true. That is the wordage that you see. Wow. Okay. I love this segment. We're going to do, do this annually, I think. I think it's great. Okay, <laughs> rule three, let's go. Rule number three, beware of the term clinically proven. This is rarely a valid study. For a study to be real, it needs to be tested against a sugar pill or placebo. Test groups need to be equal age and health. Both the drug and the placebo need to be coded so, so no one has any idea what you're taking till after the study. Mm -hmm. Wow. And a good example is our phenylephrine that we talked about yes, last week. Yes, yeah, that was great. It's in all the shelves. It's all the decongestants. When they actually test that against a sugar pill, it did nothing. It's not crazy. No problems. It's <laughs> so. wild. It explains yeah. so much, though, right? It a does. valid clinical study. Oh, okay, about 45 seconds here. So where okay. to? So again, remember clinically proven scientific jargon. This means nothing. This is all advertising terms, and that's really the purpose of the Healthcare Literacy Month. You know, understanding terms in in the true science or the true nature of what they're saying. This was so informative. Thank you. Wow, I really enjoyed this. Uh, if you missed the first half, don't worry. We're going to get that up on our website for oh, you, yeah. kadn.com. As always, Dr. LaPree, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Adam Olivier, how's the weather?